you know, we take a picture of your coffee, you take a picture of your friends, you take a picture of yourself out. We are all now more aware of how we look. We are constantly analysing each other. Over the past several years, the number of cosmetic surgeries performed has dramatically increased. Cosmetic surgery is a procedure aimed at enhancing a patient's appearance. Common procedures include breast enhancement, facial and body contouring, facial rejuvenation, and the focus of this video, rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty, commonly referred to as a nose job, reshapes the nose via bone and cartilage reduction and manipulation in order to change the nose to be more straight or narrow. Every year, nearly 220,000 rhinoplasties are performed in the United States. The first step of a rhinoplasty is consultation with a registered cosmetic surgeon. Each consultation will be highly individualized and the exact techniques of surgery will vary based on a patient's unique needs. The first step of the consultation will be an examination of the functional and aesthetic aspects of the patient's nose. This includes a facial analysis based on standardized photography or more commonly nowadays is 3D imaging techniques. Additionally, the surgeon should go through a preoperative assessment which will ask the patient's motivations for surgery as well as an overall psychological evaluation. This should cover what the patient wants out of the surgery, as well as screen out body dysmorphic disorder. For the surgical procedure itself, the first step is anesthesia, which is most often an intravenous sedation or general anesthesia. This also involves intubation as well as other safety precautions during surgery. Next is the incision, which can either be open or closed. Both involve a cut alongside the inside of the nostril, which allows for those scars to be hidden. An open incision also involves a cut along the columnella, which is the narrow strip of tissue that separates the nostrils. This allows for complete access to nasal structure. Then comes the shaping of the cartilage. This can involve either reduction or shaving of the cartilage or grafting on new cartilage that can come from the septum or the ear. This process involves analysis of the tip, thickness of the septum, as well as what cartilage is available for harvest. Additionally, this can include dorsal modification or adjustment of the bony bridge of the patient's nose. Then if the patient has a deviated septum, this is when the surgeon can correct it by straightening the septum, which provides improved breathing. Finally, once the procedure is completed, the nasal skin can be redraped and incisions are sutured closed with dissolvable stitches. The recovery for a rhinoplasty procedure involves significant bruising around the eyes and upper face. The surgeon should provide antibiotics and pain medication, as well as should provide splints and bandages, which can be left on for one week. Swelling can remain around the nose for a month or even up to one year. Rhinoplasty procedures require the patient to be under anesthesia. These surgeries can last up to three hours, and this timeline puts the patient at risk for anesthetic complications. Common symptoms of post-anesthesia include headache, pain at the injection site, nausea, and vomiting. If the anesthesia is given for a prolonged period of time, it can cause severe neurological damage or even death. Other anesthetic-related complications during rhinoplasty include the inhibition of oxygen delivery to cells and increased risk of bleeding complications. To prevent these anesthesia-related complications, it is important to have a pre-anesthesia evaluation before the surgery as the tolerance and dosage varies from patient to patient. 